Okay. You remember this one, right? Yeah. So Dr. Pin von Lommel writes this paper. Michael Shermer, Scientific American, says, hey, this thing strikes a blow against... <laughs> yeah, in my opinion. No. You, yeah, you can't... Yeah. You can't the guts, when you have, when you write a science paper, it, it, when, I'm sorry, didn't you didn't write a science paper. I'm, I'm, I let me correct him saying that he thinks that it supports the, uh, the you know, the monist position of, of, uh, of only brain and no mind. I didn't say that. I said, that's my opinion. No, what you said is right up on the screen. You well, said it. that this study delivers a blow to the yeah. idea that mind that's and brain could opinion. be separate. That's that when I read the study, was, I said it delivers a blow. Yeah, that's right. That, that would be like me saying your book, Heavens, and Earth, Heavens on Earth, delivers a blow against the neurological model that consciousness that's is tied. You can do that. No, that's I would be, I could, that. I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. But I would be misrepresenting I so. your I position. I, I wouldn't be fair to my audience. I, if I told my audience, hey, Michael Shermer thinks... That's not the case, but I think that's the case. That's one thing. But to say that that his book, w without putting into context, delivers a poll. And, and the evidence of this is clear. I mean, you have Dr. Pin Van Lommel coming at you saying, hey, this is, uh, this is completely wrong. My research argues exactly the opposite. But I don't want to well, go. He may, I don't he may argue for that, but I think his research points in the opposite direction. It does not point to consciousness beyond life. It points to powerful neurological experiences that people misrepresent as floating off into the ether somewhere. So let's get at that. Let's, let, tell me what you think, in your opinion, since you studied this extensively. When the person is up by the ceiling looking down, what is the medium or platform that holds the thoughts and memories, and, and how do you see something without a, without a visual apparatus, without a brain? How does an ethereal spirit see anything? Uh, again, and, and I, I repeat myself, but I really feel strongly about this, is that I don't think we have to, to falsify the existing model of mind equals brain, and we should never look beyond that, is a huge step. And to take that step allows us to then begin to answer those questions. I don't think we have to have those questions answered in order to say, this is what the data is telling us. This is what well, the scientists are telling us.